In today's video, we're going to be discussing why Tesla is my favorite yield max choice over Kony and Coinbase. Yield max sells synthetic calls on Tesla and Coinbase. And what many don't know is Tesla actually benefits from higher Bitcoin prices like Kony. So we should weigh the two closely. We earn over $150,000 per year in dividends at this channel, and Kony and Tesla are large contributors of that number. As you can see from my estimated income page below, if we scroll down to AMDY, this is the beginning of the next month's dividends down here, AMDY. So if you just scroll up to the, to the top, I'm not going to bore you with this, but if you count these dividends, that's $15,000 per month in dividends. However, Kony they're showing that this thousand per month in dividends is set for the year when it's not. These dividends fluctuate every month because uh, yield max funds uh, go off the volatility of the underlying stock and those fluctuate every month. Whereas Cornerstone, which is where the bulk of our dividends come from, 3500 3500 per month in Cornerstone, those are set for the year. So I get a lot more security and knowing where my estimated income is coming from. It's coming from Cornerstone and it doesn't change. It's set for the year. And those dividends are tax-free until you sell. Uh, my performance and value shows, if we go back here to, the, to that page, that I'm up 29% for the year, beating the S&P 500, which is up 20%. So... Again, we're beating the S&P, and this proves that our strategy works here. I use margin at this channel, a little bit of margin. Uh, for every $1 you put in your account, okay, you get $4 of purchasing power. Okay, I'm just using a fraction of this purchasing power to get ahead. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. I don't make videos about stocks, okay? I make videos about FIRE, which is Financially Independent Retire Early, and how to live the FIRE lifestyle myself, okay? 50% of people are paycheck to paycheck, and we're trying to change that statistic at this channel, okay? So the first reason why I like Tesla, okay, more than Kony is because, first of all, Tesla has the same maintenance. So at least they're both a wash there, okay? So Tesla, if we go to the trade tab, You'll see a snapshot view margin margin maintenance requirement. You'll see that it's 50% maintenance, okay? And I always say this is a big problem because um, this means that it takes up 100. Uh, if I were to put 100 grand of capital in this account, 50 grand of my equity would be taken up, okay? So when you go to E-Trade, again, these yield max funds are 50% maintenance, okay? That's That's... Maintenance is the key to living the fire lifestyle, okay? If you need more help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three margin e-guide, okay? But this available withdrawal number needs to stay high at all times. And um, you can go to other brokerages who have lower maintenance for yield max funds like Robinhood or Interactive Brokers, but they do not have Cornerstone or do the special drip for Cornerstone, okay? So remember, this is a total approach at this channel, okay? 400 grand of my money is in Cornerstone for a reason, Okay. So the other reason why I like Tesla is because it's also a larger part of the indexes, okay? Kony is not even in the indexes, Coinbase, but as you can see here, Tesla is about 2% of the indexes. So um, for every, uh, you know, uh, for every $1 that goes into the S&P, 2% goes to Tesla, okay? So that's very important. Uh, but again, I get the bulk of my index exposure from Cornerstone, as I just alluded to, um, you just have to time Cornerstone around its rights offering. Beware. If you want this fund, it has a 21% dividend. It is five stars, as you can see here on Morningstar. Okay, it does beat the indexes. And it gives you a special drip where you can drip the 21% dividend down at the NAV. So you have to toggle that yourself. And you have to time this around its rights offerings, okay, which is what my Volume 4 e-guide is all about. Okay, so number two, the second reason why I like Tesla more than Kony is because it's cheaper on the charts. Okay, if we go to a chart of Kony, you'll see that it's just um, skyrocketed to the moon. Okay, we have to go to the actual um, underlyings, but you can just even go to Kony's um, chart and you see that it's had a huge move up, whereas Tesla has not. Okay, so Tesla is clearly cheaper on its on its chart, and uh, we don't we don't go by only charts at this channel, but just on a relative basis when you're looking at price action, you can clearly see that Tesla is cheaper than Coinbase. Coinbase is up almost 100% in the last month. So there's Tesla. Okay, it's it's. I've said this in many videos, it's consolidating on the moving averages, the moving averages are converging. This looks pretty bullish. If you need help understanding charts, that's in my volume two e-guide. And if we go to a chart of 
uh, coin really fast, you'll see that it's up much more in comparison. Look, it's up huge, okay? 100% in a month. So uh, I like Tesla because it has a little bit better valuation, okay? And remember, the dividends are, are high on both of these funds. They're both about 60%. Yes, Tesla is, uh, I mean, Coney is about 100% or something it shows on the YieldMax website. If we go here to the YieldMax site, you'll see that, um, what do they have Tesla at? Tesla is is at around 60%. And Coney, I want to say, was something around 100%. Let's go to Coney first. Okay, Coney, um, because that's the more exciting one. Okay, the dividend here is uh, 126%. That is just insane. Okay, so um, that isn't usual, though. I mean, you seen, you saw how the chart broke out for Tesla, I mean, for Coney recently. So um, if that chart resumes its 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 sideways pattern like it had before i would look for the dividends to be about the same in uh coney and tesla okay so um tesla where can we find that i think we'll we'll see it's at the top and it's uh i think you'll if i remember correctly it's about 60 percent. so the dividend here uh 64 percent all right so um, they can be about the same again when the price action res resumes its normal pattern okay so yes the dividend is higher for for coney at the moment but the chart is more elevated so the value the value is in tesla more and the dividends could be the same when it's all said and done okay we don't know but it could be uh the third reason why i like tesla um more than coney is because it's more established okay bitcoin is all over the place it's up and down and it comes and goes tesla tesla actually has uh you know an infrastructure of cars it's one of the top selling cars in the world it has charging stations there's a real infrastructure being built upon electric vehicles and they're starting to build out the infrastructure for bitcoin but that brings me to my fourth point Bitcoin faces a lot more regulation than Tesla. If anything, regulators are helping Tesla and electric vehicles as they try to eliminate fossil fuels. So Bitcoin's always facing regulation, especially Bitcoin exchanges like, um, like uh, uh, Coinbase. So I feel like that's a little bit better risk reward with Tesla because it has less regulation. Okay, and here's the, what perhaps is the most interesting point of this video, and I saved the best for last. Okay, first of all, by the way, that those dividends, I just want to go on a quick tangent. Those dividends that I earn of 150000 per year for all the newcomers at this channel, that'll pay down my margin in less than one year, okay? So this margin debt will be gone in one year, and my account value will grow by the equivalent amount. So 150000 in dividends, my account will be plus one fifty, so we'll be at around you know, 600,000 and something, and my debt will be at zero. And I'll be left with all these dividend paying assets to myself, paying me monthly cash flow for life, which act as qualifying income to banks for loans. That's how you live the fire lifestyle. You can't rely on trading gains. You have to rely on dividends, a job or dividends. Banks will not take trading gains. They take dividend gains. Plus, uh, they take dividends, not capital gains. Plus, traders lose 90% of the time. So, um, that's why the dividend approach to me is the most viable approach when investing and trying to build your wealth out of a brokerage account. Okay, so I've saved the best point for last, okay? And that is this, okay? Did you know that um, Tesla is the third largest publicly traded company that owns Bitcoin on its balance sheet, okay? So I, I found this at Coindesk, okay? They, they recently um, uh, had a report out on how many buys and sells they had of Bitcoin, this quarter and it says that they did not do any extra buys or sells this quarter tesla but um they you can read the story more on your own uh you can just go to coindesk and read this but uh they they do still have about a hundred I, uh, I could find the numbers in here um they they still hold a good amount of bitcoin is what you need to know and they're the holding was valued at 184 million at the end of the third quarter and uh, so this this means that Tesla owns a lot of Bitcoin. It's it's it has a lot of its um, a lot of its balance sheet can be affected now by the price of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is going up. It's going to benefit Tesla. And um, also uh, Tesla has a Bitcoin option where you can buy its cars uh, through using Bitcoin. But they walked that back recently. Um, but they do have a lot of Bitcoin. Um, avenues that they're trying to pursue, and they do hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Uh, it is the third largest Bitcoin uh, holding for a publicly traded company, uh, what they own on their balance sheet. 
Okay, so I thought that was interesting. I didn't, I, honestly, I did not know Tesla had that much Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So it's another way to play Bitcoin indirectly, and it's a better value. It's the same maintenance as Kony, but a better value. The dividends could be about the same if the premiums, um, it, if price action resumes to what they typically are at, the dividends could be about the same. Uh, Tesla is more established and it has less regulation risk. So um, for all these reasons, I'm choosing Tesla over Kony. I do have about the same amount in each. I have a little bit more in Tesla uh, as a result. 12,000 in Tesla, 10,000 in Kony. I plan to have about 15,000 in Tesla and about 10 in Kony. F again, Tesla is a larger part of the index, so I don't mind having a little bit more in that. Um, so And it's more established. So uh, I think uh, those are the main points that I should uh, cover for the video. If you need help, uh, living financially free out of your brokerage account, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. Uh, I'm just living the fire lifestyle and so can you. And if you like the video, click like or subscribe. Also, when you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for life where I alert you of the rights offering in Cornerstone. And there are over 500 members there who can help you uh, with your fire lifestyle. If you're trying to figure out who has the right maintenance, uh, for these yield max funds who has a special drip for cornerstone no brokerage is the same so they can share the, their unique experiences with you there on discord or you can call me because i you have my phone number when you buy my e-guides and we can talk about anything you need to discuss okay i'll walk you through how to negotiate your margin rates down if you need that because we've negotiated our rates down many times i've negotiated mine down twice and many of my clients have too um, if you need help understanding maintenance or how I sell options down here, uh, just give me a call anytime. Okay, I'm here for you. So again, uh, click like or subscribe if you like the video and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.